with his brother tonight. And here is that brother, William Contreras, sporting a 358 average. I think that William stays inside the ball a little bit more, hits the ball to all fields. Not that Kyle's had his number head to head. He's now 0 for 12 against Kyle Gibson with that. Be later. Willie Adamas is the powerful Brewers shortstop. An 11 strikeout, six inning victory against Baltimore. This guy's got a great fast. He's got good numbers right now. Throws a lot of fastballs, but he's got some good off speed pitches to go. He's not one of those guys that I watch come into town and go, oh, we got this guy's number. It's, you know, he's usually out there. Burns now in Baltimore. Brandon Woodruff out with shoulder problems. And he's off to a good start tonight. A swing and a miss gets Donovan. Come later, but the fastball seems to get on hitters in a hurry. You can just see right there. It's just kind of like, get. Here's Lars Newtbar, his home debut for the Cardinals. And he takes high, ball one. It's in the ballpark. Kyle said, sometimes it's pitch location for me. Lately, I think it's been pitch selection. Chip 11 of the 13 runs. Kyle. Arizona, when pitch comp wasn't working the way he and Contreras had hoped, he made the pitch he wanted to make, but was rushed and missed his location. That turned He's got a 2-1 count to Oliver Dunn, the Brewers' third baseman. And fouled away. Two ball. He's been off to a red-hot start. And that comes back in. Fool's done. Get last year tore the ACL in his knee during spring training and was injured. Now trying to make his way. A career high 11 game hit streak. He's reached base in 23 straight. And that's how you walk. Used to seeing the fastball out of his hand. But the problem with that is when he if you stay with your game plan, try to stay on everything. Game. More fastballs than off speed stuff. And this year against Peralta, Jim, he's only given up one ball game with a bang. Let's see what Peralta does. Three and one. The pitch right there. You see pitches and sequences and, and, and counts that you just normally wouldn't see in the minor leagues. You talk about fastballs, he's getting ahead and seeing off speed, so pitching him backwards. And it just takes a little bit of time to catch up to the idea. Gotcha. And fouled away by Nolan Gorman. Got to get this. And then he's the guy that will cheat a little bit and then get the breaking ball. Gets in between a little bit. Two strikes. Contreras, a good lead. Peralta brings it. It's the thing you have to cover the plate. And he does a good job of it because he's already kind of square. But see right here what he does. He gets close right there. And that's the two outs. Mason Wynn is next. Win. With the highest batting average among all major league rookies at 347. And he almost wore one there. But surely hitting seventh for the Cardinals tonight. And down a little bit. So you gotta gotta get Gorman and Newt going. So you have more options, more two on, two out. Cardinals have the game's first two hits. It's coming around slowly. The one area where the Cardinals have to improve in St. Louis. That's the thing right there. You look at the balls at a strike. Outfield straight away and deep. Another breaking ball low. If you're going to make him earn it, you're going to make him hit the ball the other way. Like so. If he made a nice play right there, because I think Wilson was going to sneak in there. So two scoreless innings at Bush Stadium. Gary Sanchez is next. I mean, even when you might be tough to come by. It was a heads up play, as you said. And it went the Brewers way. As that catches, well, doesn't catch a corner. Gibson wanted it. As a 19 homer man with two big league teams last year. Gave the defending central champs. They won 92 games last year. All right, all right. Then, three teams in, in a year and a half and you're like what, what just happened <laughs> a lot of his problems were more a couple of homers six rbis at a 324 average he shows butt and that's it to start the season came out swinging too didn't they yeah they score on the starting rotation and that's probably not going to be sustainable the play tonight over the cubs interesting about that is they're averaging over six and a half 
runs a game all year until three or four. It's going to be second rated prospect in the big leagues at the start of play this year. Just 20 years old. In the air toward left. On comes Newt. Still coming. He's going to get there. And that is out the your normal guys out there you couldn't rotate guys so you had to go with what you had the game he hits with a runner at second and two outs no score we're in the top of the third that almost hit him 1988 in fact just three of the first 37 games for st louis this year against the national league central and you better make probably sitting at home thinking well what is it a lot of interleague play. The pitch. All the way. Gibson. Now a strike away from. And here it is. On the ground foul. Another young win. And more to come. The 3 2 again. And did. That can hit with runners in scoring position. That means they are a good breaking ball hitting team, I believe, because I think good game plan as a group. That one came. The Brewers pinch in at the corners for Victor Scott, the second. And he takes a strike. There's a bunt drive. Yeah, that's he has frustrating. Been. Frustrated. And then we'd be cooking with grease. Now yeah, you're talking. Pitch is low. Good take. Now it's 2 2. He is lifted out of play. My neighbors. <laughs> the 2 2. Another chance, maybe. So we hope if you haven't made your plans, you'll join us. Seven pitch foul away. Speaking does. Two balls, two strikes. Take. take slow. Just get on base. Oh, here. And tipped and caught. Pulled a string. These dividends. Brendan Donovan struck out to start the game. And he leads it 1 0 thanks to his battery mate, William Contreras. He just keeps you off balance just enough. Paul Goldschmidt trying to solve the Cardinals coaching staff. Paul Goldschmidt's last extra base hit for the Cardinals was 0 for 1. He hit the ball hard his first hit. It's like he wants to just kind of lean a little bit, get started. When he's hot, he doesn't move at all. Right, says we've reached 8 o'clock in St. Louis. Feeling it at the plate. First the 3-2 with two outs. What does it feel like?